So in this one, we're gonna set up so your form after the user fills it out, it's gonna automatically send them an email saying like, thanks again for their email, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, open up your settings.py file and we're gonna do email use TLS equals to true. And I, I also wanted to make a note that this is for Gmail. Gmail is free, so um, you can feel free to open up a Gmail account, but this also works with Google Apps, um, either one. So email use TLS, and then email host equals to smtp.gmail.com, and then email host user equals to your email at gmail.com or at your Google Apps domain.com and then email port equals 587. Uh, those are the settings for it. You don't really have to do a whole lot more than that. Um, this basically allows you to uh, email with that current email. I did forget one little thing which is your password that's kind of important so email host password equals your password um, so if you want to save this on a different file that's okay too and it's really easy to do just go new file let's say email dot email info dot py let's cut this out Go to email info, paste that. So I'm gonna copy it one more time. Go back into settings, paste it, and then we'll do from dot email info import. I'm just gonna import it all. And then you can just do this. Because basically it's importing these this data from that other page. So that star means it's gonna import everything here. Um, another way to do it is of course, explicitly say these things. So that, and then comma, email host, email host user, email host password, email port, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so that is essentially what it is. Um, same thing. It's, prob it's probably better practice to import it implicitly, or ex excuse me, import it explicitly instead of um, just the star, because that imports everything. So uh, let's leave it like that. And now with this email info, this has to be correct in order for this next part to work. So open up views.py and let's actually move this up. It's, uh, it's best practice to have Python first, Django second, and then your apps, and then local app. So like this would be local or local directory. Okay, leave that out. And then you want it in order. So django.contrib would be before s. So anyways, from django.core dot mail import send mail. Okay, so send mail is a function that allows us to send an email with these settings. Okay. So I'm also gonna do from django.con import settings. Let's move that one up. Okay, so now we wanna do a send mail. After it's saved, we can do send mail. And just so you know what it is, it's gonna go in this order, send mail, so subject message from email to list it can be a list or a single item and then fail silently 
Meaning, is it going to raise an error or uh, like if it doesn't send, should it raise an error? If it does send, you know, if it doesn't send, should it raise an error or not? And when it when you say silently it is true, it will not raise an error, which is probably good. So then the user doesn't have to see that there is an error. Okay, so I'm going to keep that as like a reference guide. Now I'm going to do subject equals thank you for your pre-order from Coding for Entrepreneurs. Message, welcome to Coding for Entrepreneurs. We very much appreciate your business. And there's a little Python new line we will be in touch soon okay and then now we have our from email so from email is settings dot um, it's going to be our email host user in this case that's actually an email address um, depending on what your server is it might not be an email address um, and then our to list equals to, let's just use save it dot email. So this is taking it from the actual form and that's who it's gonna send it to. You can also send it to yourself. So send it back if you want. Oh, sorry, we don't need that as a string, okay. And then last but not least, we do send mail, and then we basically put all of these things in. So copy that, paste it here, copy the message, paste it here, copy from email, paste it here, copy to list, paste it here, and fail silently, paste it there. Cool, so now that we have that, we can go back into Chrome go into our thank you, uh, put an email there, finalize pre-order. Now mine says thank you for your order, we'll be in touch. Mine actually failed because I don't have a password written here. That is not my email or a real password. Uh, but as far as the user is concerned, they already see it. Now we, already, we do save this into our admin, so it's not like if this doesn't send, we don't know um or we we won't know that it will know that it wasn't sent because we're not receiving the email um, but we won't know that it wasn't sent to the user so we'll have to kind of check those things of course we could make something um, else that would show us whether or not it's sent but um, we do know that the email their email is definitely going to be an email uh, so save it email so because if you do like name it's going to say include a valid email address so that's that's an important part too but anyways that's sending email um, we are getting really close to being done um, the next thing all we have to do is actually put this on a real website so we'll do that in the next